हेलो एवरीवन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्टेमेटिक डिजाइनिंग ऑफ फाइव वोल्ट फाइव एम्टर पावर सप्लाई एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो द पार्ट टू विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कंपोनेंट प्लेसमेंट सो जस्ट गो टू द आइटम डिजाइनर एंड आई हैव प्रीवियसली ओपन द प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव क्रिएटेड ऑन द पार्ट वन सो नाउ वॉट यू टू डू यू टू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द पी सी बी डॉक फाइल जस्ट फॉलो माई कर्जर when you double click on pcb doc file so it will open a uh, pcb board here just wait for a second so for for first time like it will uh, take some time for in the processing right so here this is our pcb board the black part this is our pcb board now what we need to do we need to just import all the components we have created in the schematic scs doc file so we'll import all the component in the pcb doc file here right so click on the design there is two option uh, the update is schematic in 5 volt 5 ampere pcb uh, uh, project pcb and import changes from 5 volt 5 volt right so uh, we need to firstly import the changes right so click on the import changes so there are all the components and their uh, nets and everything right so just uh, what you do we need to just uh, change here one thing just untick the room portion right so it will create a room in which all the components like uh, placed so it will the room is basically a a page right so we have created one page here so it will create one one room here right so we need to just uh, unselect the room and we'll discuss in detail in later right so there are three options just follow my cursor the validate changes execute changes and report changes so we need to just click on the first validate changes so we have successfully checked all the like there are all the components and their uh, footprints are available right then we need to execute the changes so we have successfully played just uh, after like execution just close this uh, window and uh, just click on the rise cursor and when you drag there are all the components are here right so in this component placement part firstly we will going to just adjust the board size right so for board size we need to press one on the number pad press one so after when you when you press one on the number pad we will going for the uh, like board stake uh, board layer stage right board, board layer stake sorry theek hai then we need what we to do we need to just change the dimension of the board so go to the design there are lots of dimension redefined board shape edit board shape move board right so we need to just click on the edit board shape yeah so for this project we need a smaller board that's why right so like if you want to like measure the dimension of the board then you can also measure from here right the place dimension okay actually we are in uh, sorry we need to place one uh, one here sorry two here when you place two will just back to the previous menu then there is a option of uh, like measurement right and we we have another another option to measure the distance so just click here and here so we have successfully like measured the like in mm like this is the x distance is the uh, 115.9 mm right so it is a probably x 116 mm right so we can similarly we can measure the like y dimension also yeah so the y dimension is 64.7 mm okay so this is the, our our board size it is random in my case so for if you want if you want to design a specific board size then by measuring those distance and adjusting the board size i already told you then you can uh, like define the board shape and size okay so just move to the uh, placement part so here uh, the in case of component placement we will place component as uh, uh, like there are lots of guidelines here you can see this uh, uh, this thin threads there right so like c1 c1 first pin is connected to the c2 first pin and everything right so we'll just use those guideline uh, at the time of component placement and uh, we'll uh, what we'll target we'll target the minimum number of cross connections right So we'll just drag component here. So we we need to avoid the cross connection, right? In this case, by pressing the space and drag together, right? So for dragging, what you need to do, you need to just place the red left uh, uh, button of your mouse, and by space button you can rotate the component, right? So it is like this is the this is the twisted. So we need to avoid the twist, right? So this is the uh, better placement. Now just select the another component. 
so we'll adjust the com uh, like component placement uh, when we'll go for uh, layout designing also right here Okay. So uh, here I am trying to just move the D1 because it is uh, overlapping with the layer. So it will create a, 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 a error at the end, right? When we'll go for like compilation or something. So I just here I am trying to just move the these uh, designators, right? So these names are basically designators. So we need to just over avoid the overlapping. Like this, okay. Now the L1. The inductor part. Okay. So we can place here, right? Now the last register R1. So R1 is basically in series with this. Yeah, this is good. So we have successfully placed all the component. And uh, in the next next tutorial, we will discuss about the layout designing. Okay. Thank you so much.